Hi gang, Scott here. In this video, we'll talk about Lightroom's object selection technology. This is uh, new to Lightroom desktop about a month or so ago as I record this, maybe October of 2022. Uh, it just adds more power to Lightroom's masking. Uh, you know, there's been uh, almost like a masking uh, wars and one-ups going on between all the different software vendors in the industry. And that's good news for us photographers because whatever tools we're using, they're getting better and better. And what Lightroom's done with object selection uh, is, is quite interesting and it does make certain things uh, much more helpful, especially I think for landscape photographers like me and probably like you if you're watching this, uh, because we don't always have what Lightroom would detect as a clear subject in a photo. It's not like a portrait or a still life. You know, the, the subject is the landscape. And the subject selection we had in Lightroom, yeah, sometimes it would work, sometimes it just wasn't enough. Object selection helps solve that. And I want to show you uh, a few things about the tool. So let's get into it. Object selection is one of the new features in the masking area. When you open up masking for the first time, you've got, you know, traditional subject sky. They give you background now, which is basically the opposite of the, the subject, right? Subject, opposite of subject. Now we have objects and then our brushes, our gradients and our color and range masks and depth mask if you've got that. Uh, and if you are doing portrait work, uh, you'll love what they've done with people selection. And once you have people identified, you can get sub identifications for eyebrows, eyes, hair, skin, all that kind of stuff. So if you're a portrait person, you're probably all over this stuff and loving it. I don't do many portraits. Um, when I do, I'll be happy the tools are there. But what I want to talk about is object selection. But first, you know, why is this important, especially for us landscape photographers? I'm going to click subject here. And this is what Lightroom says. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what your subject is. Is it the rocks? Is it the ocean? Is it something else? And that's a fair thing, I think, you know, for, for Lightroom, for Adobe to say, I'm not really sure because the subject is the landscape. It's really, you know, nearly the entire frame. Other landscapes might have a more prominent object. Like, I don't know, I'm looking at uh, rocks at the ocean. If you're photographing Haystack Rock in Oregon, all right, it's probably Haystack Rock is your subject. Lightroom might pick that out. But we, we, we don't have that. And so now I'm like, okay, I want to do certain things to the ocean, to the rocks. And my previous tools, I had my range tools and I can do things with gradients and intersections. Well, now we have objects and objects makes things easier. So uh, let's, um, let's do this. Let's tackle objects uh, a couple of ways here. Um, first, we'll try out objects for uh, the rocks and let's try out objects for the ocean. See how things go and you'll see how the tools work as we go along. Looking at this photo, there's a lot of rocks here, but they're in really three different regions, right? We've got you know one kind of chunk here, there's a second, collection the lower left there's a third in the lower right and there's a little bit of separation here and so we can use the object selection tool to uh, you know divide this and and build up a mask for just our rocks so uh, let's get our masking area we have objects there are two modes that the object selection tool can work with you do a brush or you can do a box and let's start with the box so we'll take the box and we'll go outside the canvas a little bit, draw a box, and cover this segment of rock. A couple of seconds, Lightroom says, all right, this is what I, I see for your selection. And it's pretty good. There's a little bit of straggle here and there, but this is, is a way better jump start to getting a selection than, uh, than I would have done by just starting to paint. You know, uh, this, this, is, this is good. Uh, now let's do the second one. This is the cool thing about masking, right? In Lightroom, we have our, our, our big mask we're building up with components. I can add another object. And let's try now these rocks in the lower left. That did not go as well. This was more challenging for Lightroom to figure out. Well, we have a different mode to use object selection with that should work better, and that's the brush. So uh, we can try the brush instead. Let's remove that object. We'll try again object here, but this time use the brush mode. And how we work with the brush is kind of what you would think. You want to paint over the object that you want Lightroom to find. And notice that I'm, I'm purposely bleeding outside the lines, right? This is like the opposite of your coloring books when you were in elementary school or 
you know, primary school, you want to go outside the lines when you're painting over the object you want to select. Let's finish this up here, make sure I've got everything. And the reason for going outside is to give Lightroom that breathing room to say, all right, this is what I want. Okay, not bad. It found most of it here. I would add with a brush and just add this to my mask, right? I'm not adding to the object now, I'm adding to the mask. And I'm quickly done with that, right? That was, that was fast enough where object selection got me a heck of a lot faster than it did by hand painting with, say, auto mask turned on. What about our third object? We have another object here. Uh, I'll go back to box mode for this. We've got this piece over here, right? Let's see how that does. All right, pretty good. I got one last bit over here. Must have missed that with my, uh, my initial brush, so we'll just do a small box around that. You can kind of tell that I tend to start with box, and if I need to, I'll use brush. My last thing for, for tidying up this particular mask, I'll do a subtract with a brush, auto mask turned on, and just take care of this little divot of ocean that, uh, that got picked up. I'm okay with the, the rock that's covered in water. I don't need that to be showing there. Now that I've got my mask, I can do adjustments, right? So now I can do clarity. I'll push it really far. You can see the clarity is jumping on the rocks, uh, warmth jumping on the rocks, all courtesy of this mask that if I wasn't narrating it, I would have built up this mask in you know 10 to 15 seconds using a few object selections. And then I can get back to you know what's really important is you know having fun with the photo and, and doing the stylistic stuff, you know, add a little bit of warmth, add a little bit of clarity, probably a punch of texture, things like that. Uh, now, another thing, what about the ocean? You know, that's um that's an interesting one. It's um it is an object. You can think of it as an object. Uh, just thinking of the photo in terms of, of segments, you know, what are we going to do with it? How will the object selection tools work? Uh, we're going to find out right now. Let's create a new mask and we'll do object again. I will start in box mode and I see the ocean in a few places, right? I've got, I've got this part here. Let's, let's go ahead and do the upper part. See what we get. Not too bad. Picked up some of the rock. I can deal with that later. Uh, let me add a second object, kind of the, the middle part here. Let's try that one more time. Maybe from here to here. There we go. Good. And for this little bit here, I guess I'll just use that box again. Simpler than painting. Okay, at this point I'll go to my brush and I'll add in that little last bit. Brush again, subtract with a brush and take the bit out for this rock face that's right there. Maybe that piece too. And now I have a good selection of the ocean. And what might I do here? Well, maybe raise the exposure a little bit. Uh, more, more accurately, probably raise the highlights a bit. You know, push it really far. You can see the, the white wash is getting that pop. And what's beautiful is I have all of the options here to intersect this with luminance range masks or things like that. So I've got all of this power to say, you know, just take all of that selection, but then only give me the highlights or the midtones. It, it, you know, the, the object selection works seamlessly with the other things we have in Lightroom. So you can get some very complex masks built up in a short amount of time. And so let's finish this off. Maybe give uh, a little a little warmth there as well, less than I did on the rocks, but uh, by using the object selection, I'm able to just to, to segment my photo that way a little bit better. So that's object selection in Lightroom. You know, new tool in the masking area, very very useful. Two modes, a brush and a box. I tend to reach for the box first, and then if for whatever reason it's uh, just not doing what I want it to do, then I'll grab the brush. When you use the brush paint outside the lines or the edges of the object you're trying to uh, select, give Lightroom a little extra breathing room. When you don't, it just doesn't make uh, a good selection. You know, you, you know, think about it like that, right? The, the, the box is going to be drawing something very broad and Lightroom will tighten up on it, almost like you know, shrink wrap, you know, wrapping up something. The brush works the same way. And, uh, and you can use the object selections just like any other mask. Once you've done them, it creates a mask. You can intersect them with luminance range masks, color range masks, other things. Use the brushes to add and subtract as you need to. 
Really cool, powerful tool and huge for landscape photographers where you don't have necessarily a subject that you can easily and quickly select. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.